The Tyrannosaurus Rex is often considered the biggest and baddest of the dinosaurs. It had an array of formidable weapons and characteristics that made it a nearly unstoppable force in North America. However, the T-Rex was not the only large theropod to roam the Earth during the late Cretaceous. If you traveled to South America 30 million years before the T-Rex, you'd encounter a theropod equally ferocious and almost as titanic, the Giganotosaurus. This incredible dinosaur has recently risen to fame, and it's easy to see why. Discovered in 1993 by an amateur fossil hunter in the badlands of Patagonia, Argentina, the Giganotosaurus was immediately recognized for its enormous size. The specimen, which became the holotype, was 70% complete and left paleontologists in awe. They quickly named it Giganotosaurus carolini, meaning Carolini's giant southern lizard. The discovery of Giganotosaurus sparked new interest in large theropods and reignited the debate on just how big these predators could get. Current research estimates that an adult Giganotosaurus measured about 43.3 feet or 13.2 meters from head to tail and stood 13 feet or 4 meters tall at the hips, making it as tall as an adult T-Rex and even longer. Though not nearly as stocky as the T-Rex, the Giganotosaurus was no lightweight weighing between 8 and 8.4 tons. Some speculate that larger individuals could have exceeded these numbers, making it the largest predator in South America and the second largest terrestrial carnivore ever, just behind the T-Rex. To put its size into perspective, the Giganotosaurus was over 10 times heavier than the average male polar bear, the largest land predator today. Some paleontologists believe the largest Giganotosaurus individuals have yet to be discovered, as some remains suggest even bigger specimens. For instance, giant teeth found were 8% larger than those of the holotype, indicating a skull length of 6.4 feet, or 1.95 meters. Despite its size, the Giganotosaurus had a lighter skull than the T-Rex, giving it greater flexibility. While its bite wasn't as powerful as the T-Rex's crushing bite, it was deadly in its own right. The Giganotosaurus had over 70 large serrated teeth designed for slicing through flesh, causing rapid blood loss in its prey. Its robust neck allowed it to twist and jerk prey during attacks, making its bites even more lethal. There is debate over how the Giganotosaurus captured its prey. Initially, it was thought to be a fast sprinter, with estimates suggesting a top speed of 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. However, new research argues that the Giganotosaurus was more of a speed walker, suited to hunting large herbivores like sauropods, rather than chasing down smaller prey. Interestingly, the Giganotosaurus might have hunted in packs. This theory is based on its close relative, the Maposaurus, found in groups of different ages and sizes. If Giganotosaurus also hunted in packs, it would have been even more formidable, capable of taking down even the largest sauropods. The Giganotosaurus belonged to the Carcharodontosauridae family, a group of dominant Cretaceous predators. It was more closely related to Carcharodontosaurus than to Allosaurus, and was the largest member of its subfamily, Giganotosaurini. It also had the largest brain in proportion to its body size compared to other members of its family, suggesting it was quite intelligent. Fossils show that Giganotosaurus lived in what is now Argentina during the early Cenomanian age of the late Cretaceous, about 99.6 to 97 million years ago. Its habitat was warm, with distinct dry seasons and a landscape peppered with lakes, rivers, and streams. It shared this environment with various dinosaurs, including sauropods like Limesaurus, Noxas pondylus, Rhynchosaurus, and Andesaurus. Contrary to popular belief, there is no evidence that it lived alongside Argentinosaurus, although a massive, unnamed titanosaur suggests it might have been a relative in some way. This massive, unnamed titanosaur that might have shared a distant ancestor with the Giganotosaurus adds an intriguing layer to the story of this fearsome predator. Discovered in the same region of present-day Argentina, this titanosaur was a colossal herbivore that roamed the ancient landscapes during the late Cretaceous. Paleontologists have unearthed fragmented remains, including giant vertebrae and limb bones, which suggest that this titanosaur was among the largest animals to ever walk the Earth. Some estimates propose that it could have reached lengths of up to 100 feet or 30 meters and weighed as much as 70 tons, rivaling or even surpassing the size of other well-known titanosaurs like Argentinosaurus. The presence of such enormous herbivores in the same environment as the Giganotosaurus provides valuable insights into the predator-prey dynamics of the time. 
These titanosaurs would have been the ultimate test for any predator, and the Giganotosaurus, with its immense size, powerful jaws, and potential pack-hunting behavior, was well-equipped to take on these gigantic challenges. The interactions between these massive herbivores and their fearsome predators would have shaped the ecosystem, influencing the evolution and adaptations of both groups. The discovery of the unnamed titanosaur not only highlights the incredible diversity of life during the late Cretaceous, but also underscores the ongoing nature of paleontological research. As more fossils are unearthed and studied, our understanding of these ancient giants continues to evolve, painting a more detailed picture of the prehistoric world. Giganotosaurus wasn't just the largest predator, it also outclassed other theropods in its environment, with the second largest predator being only half its length and ten times lighter. Its prey included smaller dinosaurs, pterosaurs, turtles, fish, primitive snakes, frogs, notosuchians, rhynchocephalians, and mammals. Its hunting style was likely a combination of power and strategy. Unlike the T-Rex, which relied on a crushing bite, the Giganotosaurus used its agility and slicing teeth to bring down prey. Its robust neck muscles allowed it to deliver deadly bites while twisting and jerking its head to tear flesh. This theropod likely targeted large herbivores, including titanic sauropods that roamed its territory. With its immense size and sharp teeth, the Giganotosaurus could inflict deep wounds that caused rapid blood loss, weakening its prey before delivering the final blow. Evidence suggests that it may have hunted in packs, much like its close relative, the Maposaurus, enabling it to take down even the largest and most formidable sauropods. This pack hunting strategy would have allowed the Giganotosaurus to overwhelm massive herbivores through coordinated attacks, ensuring a successful hunt. Its primary prey would have included large sauropods like Limesaurus and Andesaurus, as well as other sizable herbivores of its time. The Giganotosaurus was truly the apex predator of its ecosystem dominating the ancient landscapes of South America with its fearsome hunting prowess. Despite its dominance, the Giganotosaurus disappeared around 97 million years ago. The cause of its extinction remains a mystery, but future discoveries may reveal what led to the demise of one of the most monstrous predators ever. Stay curious and join us at Primalia for more amazing journeys into the past.